Hey, my pioneers, how you doing? Uh, it's Tony D with another report of what's going on in South Jersey. And as you can see, I'm wearing my gloves and I'm wearing my mask, hoping to encourage you to do the same. Oh wait, bad news or good news, depending on how you look at it, you're gonna have to start wearing these things. And you're gonna have to start carrying around these Clorox wipes too which are very handy to uh, keep things sanitary. Um, the reason you're going to have to do that is, well, the government, as usual, is panicking, and I'm sure the governor doesn't want people to die, but I'm also sure he's worried about being reelected, and in his panic has now made this mandatory. I'm against mandatory, but I cannot argue with his reasoning because most people just aren't doing this. In fact, I just got back from a trip of going out to the store. So this is like all part of my hazmat suit. And uh, I wanted to go to this meat place that's a little bit off the beaten track. I heard good things about it. And don't worry, I sanitized my gloves. Um, and uh, I got to the meat store and there was a huge line. So um, people were social distancing. And the place only allows five customers in the store now at, at a time. I thought the place would be empty. The place is packed. There's about 20 people in line, all social distancing. So uh, I decided, screw that. I'm not going to wait in that giant line. So I ended up going to the Heritage Daily, which didn't look very packed. And I will applaud the Heritage Daily. Their employees were wearing face masks and gloves. Good for them. Um... I thought the prices were a little high, but I kind of expect that in sort of a mini-mart atmosphere. However, all the other customers, except for one, I think, had gloves on. Uh, they weren't doing anything. They are just shopping just another day at the races for people. This is not good, Pineys. And now the governor has forced your hand. Now you're going to be fined and refused service if you don't have this. Um, you all have gloves, and I'm sure you can make a bandana out of something. So... If you don't have these, well, I tried to warn you. I told you back in January. I started wearing this stuff in January. I told you. I tried to warn you. I don't know what you want me to do. You got to watch this channel or you got to <laughs> pay attention. Um, and people are still very sick from this. You don't want to go into the hospital right now. Of course, if you got sick, it would be two weeks from now where things are probably clearing up. So it's not that bad. The media is kind of on board with it. Unfortunately, they've gone kind of the other way. They're, they're a little too crazy about it. We have to start opening things back up. We have to. Uh, people are going to lose everything if they don't start opening things up. I will say the food stores are doing quite well a lot of these places that manage to adjust. Um, everywhere I go, people are buying food. I mean, they got to live. So... Uh, I guess that's good, and I guess these mom-and-pop stores are reporting. The produce stand I went to the other day, I overheard them say something like, yeah, we, we didn't think we'd ever be this busy, but we are. Uh, because produce stands are pretty seasonal this time of year. Eh, it's not a great time, except for flowers, um, you know, for Easter and Mother's Day coming up. But, uh, geez, Pineys, uh, what are you doing? Okay, now you got to do this. Uh, I, I hope you're ready. And uh, I have, you know, uh, as a libertarian, I'm very torn because I'm very much against the state enforcing this. But at the same time, I'm so frustrated that people didn't get on the train. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's not that bad. Is it hot? Yes. Do I look weird? Yes. Do I care? No, I don't care because I'm protected. Who cares? Everybody's going to do it. You know, it's not that big a deal. I mean, you get used to it. Yeah, at first I kept forgetting the mask and uh, uh, everybody made fun of me. After a while, people just forgot about it. That's what's going to happen. And if everybody's doing it, it doesn't matter. Now you have to do it. Now it's going to be ridiculous. You're going to have people half-assing it. Try to, oh, I'll just wear a scarf and put it around my face if someone says anything. That, you know that's not going to work. You know what's going to happen when, that, when people try to 
do it half-assed. Some cop is going to have a burr up his butt about this whole situation. Maybe his grandmother died or his wife is sick. And then you come in with your half-ass scarf that doesn't filter anything. And, and you don't even have it on until he walks up to you. And then you're like, well, I had a scarf. You can't arrest me. None of this would have happened if people used a little common sense. None of this. And look, I'll give you some... Um, what would I call it? I'll give you some credit in that you were probably listening to the wrong news. Because let me tell you something. The World Health Organization lied to you. They said very early on, don't wear a mask. There's no human-to-human -human transfer. That was wrong. They were flacking for China. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's true. The Chinese government pushed for the current uh, leader of the WHO who is from Africa, but he's a full-blown communist. And like an actual communist outside of China, if you can believe it. And uh, he was flacking for the Chinese government. And that's why they didn't want the response to be big, because they were trying to keep it, they were trying to protect the Chinese government. Okay? It's not a conspiracy theory, it's true. You can't get this kind of information, especially early on, from regular news. You just can't. They're kind of talking about it now. Well, the Chinese government may have under blah, blah, blah. No, they lied. China lied. People died. And speaking of people dying, I have more bad news. Uh, the numbers today, the case numbers of the virus. Yesterday, we were down to 3,000. It looked very helpful. Today, we shot back up to 3,700. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Unfortunately, you know, again, the, the, the testing, it, it may be a result of more testing, uh, more testing results being uh, dumped out onto the scene. I'm not sure um, because the testing was so weird and sporadic. This would have been, now we're looking at uh, two and a half weeks ago. Uh, so it would have been a week after I was laid off. We'd already been in, in the house for almost a week, at least for me. I don't know about a lot of you, Pineys. A lot of you just kept going out. You know, that was still the weeks leading up to people still doing weddings, people flaunt, flaunting the police and having bar barbecues. Look, that's why the government is cracking down. They're panicking. They're panicking because... People are idiots. And if you're one of these idiots, look, I'm not trying to denigrate you. You're nameless to me. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you did. And you may be embarrassed to buy what you did. Good. Don't worry about what you did. That's in the past. Now look to the future. Look to the future. This is the future, unfortunately, the immediate future. You're going to have to start masking up and gloving up. You're going to have to find something. Everybody has gloves. There's gloves somewhere. Get them. Mask. Use a bandana if you can't get one of these. Uh, I got this at CVS. I don't know if they have any more. A lot of people are saying, oh, I can't get masks. Some people are still finding them online. Get yourself a mask and gloves. Now you have to, to get into the store. Now, if you don't have it, you have to go to the store. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to have to make one out of a bandana, a piece of cloth, a t-shirt, something. Don't half-ass it. Take it seriously. Oh, and that's the other thing. Construction, guys. You guys had the damn equipment. And now the governor has canceled unnecessary construction in the state. I don't know how he defines unnecessary construction, but that sounds like another power grab to me. Meanwhile, uh, you know, I drove by a construction site a few days ago, and you dummies were no mask. No gloves, T-shirts, standing next to each other. I, I, I just was, I wanted to stop the car and start screaming at you and throwing rocks. I really did. Because uh, you have the equipment. Every construction site has gloves. You certainly have work gloves. And every construction site has these masks. Now, granted, some places, they donated their masks during this crisis. Fine. I get that. But you all have bandanas. You all have bandanas, and you all could stand six feet away from each other, or at least try to. 
No. These guys, eh, they're just going about their business. I saw landscaping guys out doing their thing. Right next to each other. Same outfit. T-shirt, jeans, no mask, no gloves. Landscaping. You touch your mulch and you don't have gloves. That would just benefit you just in the job. And you still don't have them. I, I don't get it. You're too hot? Well, too bad. Now you're going to have to wear them. Okay? And, and, and tell me that you're going to go to work without the stuff and then try to go get lunch and be like, oh, I forgot my gloves and my, my face mask. Damn it. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to see. Um, so, Pines, please, listen to me. I, I, I don't want the governor to pull more craziness out of his hat. I want this all to be over. I know you do. Wear a mask. Get the gloves. And be safe. Be safe until we can get this thing done. Until we can get the curve down, we're only getting a few hundred cases a day statewide. A few dozen statewide. Then it'll be over. That'll be over. But, you know, this thing drags on to the end of May, into June. I mean, Jesus. You know, I, I, people are losing their minds. They're, every restaurant's going to be out of business. Every single one of them. Uh, and I love restaurants. I love restaurants. Certainly the comic book stores are done. A lot of businesses are going to be done the longer this goes on. So do the right thing. Either stay the hell home or mask and glove the hell up. 